Welcome! You're watching the Thrift Store, my dad will be bringing Hollywood home on a budget. And where for the month of August, we're going to be focusing on summer blockbusters, then and now, in all sorts of fun ways. Like this first one. Sci-fis and westerns. A combo like that just makes any hardcore movie buff want to yee-haw right to the skies. It only takes one person to bring together two beloved genres for one outlandish hybrid. And that guy would be Scott Mitchell Rosenberg, who created his graphic novel, Cowboys and Aliens. In this case, it takes one talented group of screenwriters, one of them nominated for an Academy Award, to bring this outlandish hybrid to life and to bring it to the attention of a real one again on the big screen, John Favreau. All of that culminating in Cowboys and Aliens, and the illustrated screenplay, which I picked up from 2nd Avenue Thrift Superstore up in Union, sorry I hit the tripod, for $2.99. This comes complete with the entire shooting script from Roberto Orsi, Alex Kurtzman, and Damon Lindoff, co-creator of Lost, and Mark Fergus, and Hawk Archby. Five screenwriters. Adapting their screen story with additional material from Oscar nominee Steve Artekirk, one of the guys responsible for bringing Jimmy Neutron Boy Genius to life on the big screen and the small screen. Anyway, it also has concept and storyboard art in black and white and even in color and unit photography, that's photography from the film, with its all-star cast, which is the focal point of this video. Anyway, in the late 1800s, in the New Mexico desert town of Absolution, there lived a guy who has no memory of who he is or where he is at all. His name is Jake Lonigan. And he runs into the real tough Kono of the town, Kono Dolahide. Anyway, they had to put aside their differences and work together and bring about the town's posse of enemies, townsfolk and other folks to battle a swarm of aliens coming their way to wipe the town clean of everyone and everything in sight in the most ugly way. Can they do it? Well, this is how you can find out. The other way is to actually watch the film. According to critical analysis, this is nothing if not a fun diversion from serious folklore, and in terms of the box office, well, it had its own summer flame and did okay. Not great, I mean, this blockbuster didn't bust a lot of blocks, but did okay. Okay enough to have an illustrated screenplay, and I assume a whole host of merchandise other than this? Well, that's yet to be seen, but I assume that's the case. Anyway, no matter how outlandish the concept is, or how solidly, well, somewhat solidly, it was put together from a technical standpoint, as well as acting, What's there to complain about when you got Daniel Craig and Harrison Ford on the same piece? Alongside Sam Rockwell, who plays the doc in here, the town's doctor. I should also mention Adam Beach, Keith Carradine, Clancy, Mr. Krabs Brown, and oh yeah, you'll get no complaints from me whatsoever when you add Olivia Wilde to the mix. She plays the mysterious and sexy stranger, Ella. Which reminds me, why Harry Styles, why? <sighs> summer flames are summer flames. Speaking of which, this had its summer flame, and that was just that, a flame. A flame that resulted in this rather cool illustrated screenplay, which retailed for $18.95 here in the States. There's the credit billing on the back, somewhat covered up by this price tag, which is impossible to take off without leaving some residue on it, so forget about that. This was published by Inside Editions. I wish it had the full credits, but other than that, it's pretty darn cool. And my favorite photo from this full color photo of insect? Well, I'll tell you what. Anything, and I mean any photo, involving Ella, a.k.a. Olivia Wilde. I said it before, and I'll say it again. And Harry Styles better cover his ears. Jason Sudeikis too, for that matter. I'll go wild for anything involving Olivia Wilde. And which one of the five screenwriters here thought of it a good idea to have her become, well, somewhat nude around the campfire? Whoever that screenwriter is, you have a most eternal thanks. 
even though it wasn't full frontal, but that's in good taste. So for all that, I'm giving it four and a half out of five claps. Cowboys and aliens. Out of this world? Not really. Wootin' tootin' fun? You darn tootin' it is. Watch and check out more TSR by clicking on another awesome review like this one, top left. And be sure to subscribe by clicking top right. Until next time, I'll catch you on the flip side.